what I wanted to ask you about, uh, and this either of you or both of you might speak to this, is the, the whole idea of the next generation of winemaker. And with the, what is it, still about 95% of the uh, wineries in the Napa Valley are still family owned. But there, could you talk to that dynamic of uh, when you're a very well-known uh, wine family, what are the challenges and the, the, you know, the pros and cons to passing it on to the next generation? Many challenges. <laughs> um, no, it's, I never really coached them to become part of the business, but it was my pleasant surprise that at least, actually I got two out of four into the business, which was great. Uh, but Alan always knew, I think, since you were 12 or 13, he always knew, he always liked the vineyard, so. And I knew where the best part of your cellar was, too. So. <laughs> well, all of my kids yeah. actually um, were educated a little bit more the European way, and yeah. uh, we shouldn't touch on that, because. Why not? That's well, what, this train, is what we do. The this is what we do. We don't start, the, I mean, wine was, I was always taught that wine was to be enjoyed and, and to be a part of food and a meal and to complement things and, and a part of a lifestyle. So, right, but yeah. when they were going to elementary school, they couldn't really mention this. If you mention anything in class, mommy goes to jail. So it, it was like... <laughs> it was educational. It, it was like educational. That. So there's always been a family secret. It's always it's been like a family a secret that nice. they started their, their wine groups uh, when they were 16. That's all right. I, 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 I'm, yeah, it is it is my privilege to actually work with Alan and of course we are very much alike but we also have our differences. So it came it became very clear that we could have Fiader, the one that I've always loved and made for twenty over twenty five years. But there needed to be something allowed to the new generation, a little bit more racy, a little bit more vibrant, the acidity a little bit, you know, like guys tend to like a little bit to the end. And so came the, <laughs> the black label. And that's entirely his idea. And between him and his sister, they came up with a good concept. Um, so they're both Fiatera. They're both coming from our grapes from our vineyards, um, they're both treated with equal love, but they're very different blends. One is Viader, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Cabernet Franc. The other one has Syrah, and a tiny bit of Malbec that we have in the property that kind of acts as a pinch of salt. So that's new, and also a very limited amount. So you'll have Theodore and Black Label Theodore. 